Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Shows. My name is Saiken and today we are continuing the Rookie Balboa run. This is do or die time. Rookie Balboa, the legendary Iron Man run with permanent dark events where we are trying to beat the game with only four rookies per mission. And that includes, of course, the last mission. We've made it that far. We've upgraded our equipment almost as much as we could. There is just a tiny bit more that could have been a uh, plasma weapon upgrade, but uh, the trade-off um, was basically not to take it because more permanent dark events could have happened. Also, to be fair, it's a very optional update. Anyways, we are in the last mission with d Roby, Sane and Sonar. Who are hopefully going to survive that. Uh, as a side note, I should say that all three of uh, the Chosen will be in this mission. My personal hopes are that we're getting the Assassin as one of the first two that we're meeting. So the tactic will be to use as little of the consumables as humanly possible. And in order to do that, what we're really trying to do is to stay back and let the commander's avatar take uh, most of the brunt. I'm on the move. Moving. The avatar regenerates, so we're trying to let him pull the aggro whenever possible. And we do have a few psychic abilities, which is great. So that'll hopefully help us. The one thing that we cannot do, though, is uh, within the first round to cast two spells. The avatar has Dimensional Rift as a, an action that does not end the turn, and then both Null Lens and Mind Control. So what I would want to do is, who is the fastest here? Well, that's quite obvious. It's Roby. Uh, he is going to be our scout. And that'll allow us with the commander, trying to really optimize everything here, that'll allow us with the commander to just stay back and cast basically two Psy abilities in the first turn. The idea will be to hit them as hard as possible, just from the get-go. Good. We're moving in a close firing formation here. Okay, well, very soon we're going to trigger the first pack. I'm pretty sure that will happen the moment um, that Roby is going to go in. We got technical analysis, which allows the enemy only to take one turn if we have triggered them. On my way. Nothing. Well, that's a shame. On We're staying back with the rest. I want to make sure that the avatar really takes the brunt of uh, the action. And look at that, there is the first pack. Sectopod, maybe over here? Is that a sectopod? Well, that answers the question, I guess. Nice little hit. I like it. Ooh, Overwatch unfortunately missed. But. The Sectopod actually ran into a full-on Overwatch trap. Would have been a bit cooler if a few more shots would have hit, specifically the ones... Um, specifically the ones with blue screen rounds. Well... 
The assassin has just arrived. Well, hello there. Will teleport when taking damage. Can um, return fire on shots. Can summon stun lances and regenerates. Okay. That's a problem. All of it is a problem. Question is, how are we going to deal with her? She moved from here to somewhere. Dimensional Rift. This might hit her. And there's the planeswalker. You have come to our sanctuary, and now you will complete your ascension to the Elder Sky. We've got the chosen in our sights. It's time to take them out. Well, we we are not. We got plenty of enemies in our sight. That's the problem. Two screen rounds here. We got to deal with the. Sectopod, and we gotta deal with him like relatively fast. Uh, into full cover. I don't like half cover. And that's a very solid hit. mind control either of the shield bearers which I don't think I want to do I'll wait with the null lens to see if we can get the um, sector pot down and I also wait with dual strike we gotta use a bit of teamwork here I mentioned we will probably not go without it Luckily, that was a good execution. We take a high ground to execute uh, to kill the other guys. For now, let's just see where she, where else she teleports to. Nice little hit. Okay, she's f pretty far away. Look, we I could move in. That's a very aggressive move. Equally, we could just overwatch because we know that she's not immune to overwatch. Moving up into full cover. That shield bearer needs to die. Alright, Overwatch it is. She could theoretically jump up here and no one could help him if he's stunned. So another overwatch. I hate double overwatching, but it seems a very prudent uh, way of dealing with her. Alright, what is she going to do? Best case scenario? Not much. Very good. She took another hit for just standing there. Good. 
we're going to mind control. And with that, we do have a relatively safe and secure option to hit hit the uh, hit the chosen. Um, equally. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> they were just hiding there, like. Little afraid uh, babies. Okay, we need to kill her. Our target, minimal damage. I won't be slow by your Got another hair trigger out of it. Could go to here, full cover, go to here and flank her. I think that's the right call. Keep it going, kill her. Finally, the execution. Good. He's not going to act. He's disoriented. He's not going to act. Thirty-three percent. Well, that is not good. potentially shouldn't stay up there move to here that will trigger a grenade half cover isn't great half cover isn't great we are already in half cover reloading Let's try to kill him. Nice. Tail and rounds worked out well. Ah, that is suboptimal. I definitely did not want to get hit at all. Good, the commander can move up. I think the rest just disengages for now. Moving. 
Full cover. Let's start hitting the Archon. Continuing to hit the Archon. On the move. Again, moving further away. Good yeah, unfortunately, Roby got crit, uh, which is statistically unlikely, but it still happened, right? Good, moving up so that these two guys can go at each other in melee combat. Okay, so the commander moves up. Tries to kill the mutant. Fortunately not successful. Stunlance, however, finish, finishes the job. Good Overwatch, reload Overwatch, reload Overwatch. So far we're good. We got a new scout. Came in a bit late to the party, but is still very much welcome. Mana continues to move up, and the rest of our squad is about one move uh, further to the back. To Copy that. We lost some hit points, but I think we're still fine. Roby could theoretically still um, survive another hit. For reload were needed and one more turn until end of mind control But this should very likely trigger. Oh wow, really? Good time to get rid of the Lancer. And time to get rid of uh, the Undying Loyalty as well. On my way. On the move. 
Good, we're moving the team up. And just regaining cooldowns on the commander. A new mind control and new damage spells will go a long way. Overwatch, Overwatch, reload Overwatch. Okay, not that loot uh, matters anymore. But still, I was curious what it would be. All right, one more round of reloading and overwatching and we should be fine. So far we have used only one uh, action uh, advanced teamwork, but we've also lost eight hit points. So Roby is in a rough shape. Which means someone else will need to do the scouting, which now is going to be Maximilian Richter here. Moving everybody just a tiny bit further forward. There's always a chance it's, uh, that they are going to run into us. Okay, we're just going to overwatch. This is the right uh, strategy, the right position. Moving in, potentially triggering. We are not, okay. Interesting. Which means, naturally, everybody else is moving up. Closing on target position now. Rolling. Overwatch. Got it covered. Got it covered. Scanning. Good. So far, so good. Still no one triggered. Move into here so that we have a better way of getting into full cover. Next up, we're going to take those two spots. I'm sort of hoping that they will run into an Overwatch trap. Understood. Moving out. Which currently seems to be not the case. Good. We certainly have a nice little fire line here. If someone was to move in, we would be well prepared. Moving up. Still nothing. That is strange. I put the commander specifically into half cover so that they will focus the commander. All right. Hmm. 
that this might trigger. It indeed does. Come on, panic, Icarus suit. Guys, you should be panicked. I do have the Icarus suit. 100% mind control on this guy, okay. Very well. They pulled the robots. Time to hit the Archon. I see done. Roger that. Moving up, Divot hits that Archon. Overwatching. And look, Sonar. Just moving into full cover, out of line of sight. The mechs are free to use all of their micro missiles uh, on the Archon. Go ahead. I couldn't care less. Good, the Archon tanks it. Good, we're moving up and one of the things that I absolutely love about Null Lances is they go through walls. Can we hit more than two is the question. The answer is no, so might as well hit two. One make us down, the other one heavily injured. Moving all the way over here, very, very far away. And rule number one, never cluster up. Target eliminated. Uh, 
That's critical hit. Very nice critical hit. Moving to designated coordinates. Shot failed to connect. You had almost killed it. I think sitting back here and just overwatching is good. Want to prevent more damage on him. Second sec of uh, second set of micro missiles hits the target. That's an overwatch and potentially a kill. Good, perfect option to reload and go become more aggressive. We're using the commander as bait here. We have blue screen rounds? Yeah, we do. Okay. Wow, nice hair trigger. Just at the right time. That's affirmative. Everybody's in full cover, that's good. Wanna deals a lot of damage. Obi moves up, getting close and personal. Target eliminated. And we got through all of them in just one go. Roger that. Look, not bad for a squad of rookies, right? Not bad for a squad of rookies. Ready to go. Told you I'm not going to go down without a fight. Let's rock. Ready to engage. I'm on it. Now the next uh, mm, the next iteration is a few overwatches and just really getting uh, the cooldowns in order. I'll play the um, I'll fast forward so that you guys do not need to see through the next six turns of getting everything in order. Okay, good. So all of the cooldowns are back, which means we can progress and progress. We shall. Is this going to trigger? It's not good. Time to move up the fire line then. I want to take the high ground here Overwatch. Come get some. Overwatch. Ahead. and maybe someone is falling for our overwatch trap there's still quite a few enemies to kill so we got to be careful Moving on target location. is that triggering it's not okay in which case i'm going to be a bit sneaky and actually take that high ground 
Because high ground is so much better than just a normal overwatch. Alright, come on. Careful now, we gotta be super restrained with our consumables. Alright, that has triggered. You can see that already. What are we dealing with? Two, two berserkers, that's it? Okay, wait, that isn't too bad. Starting to hit the guys. Yes, please. Absolutely. Commander also moves up right here. Good, and we do a little sneak trick here. This guy has tactical analysis, so he won't be able to reach us. Might as well go back. And he ended up in the worst possible spot for him. Good, we're f we have fully reloaded. Time to unload on that thing. Thankfully, we have high ground, so that's a 100% hit chance. And luckily for us, we trigger them all by themselves and not together with another pack. Could you imagine how stressful it is to have like those 100... Well, almost 80 hit points on top of I'm on the move. something else. Good, that has not triggered. Which means we can Back confidently reload. Good. Give me a cue, um, a clue where exactly the enemy is. All right. Northwest. I think I know how to trigger them. Let's try this one here. Okay, I'm a bit surprised. Still trying to keep that high ground here. Good, let's move the fire line up. Position confirmed. Orders confirmed. On the move. Not great, but we could always fall back if needed. It's a decent fire line, not a great one, but a decent. Okay. Good, so far so good. Position. Position confirmed. Got it covered. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Got it covered. Did we trigger something? No, not yet. Okay. Moving. Trying a little bit closer. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Still a no. Good, next up. This is slightly triggering. Okay, so four sectors.
Big fat explosion. That is good. And they should all be disoriented or nearly disoriented. Can we hit two of them with a null lance? Just barely out of reach, right? Come on, tell me that we can hit both of them, please. The answer is no. But we can make one of the crates explode. So they do have tactical analysis, which means if we're playing our cards right... They shouldn't even know that we're here. On the other hand, we're in full cover. So might as well think about how to eliminate all of them instead of moving back. Heading to that location. Yeah, let's take the high ground out first. Okay, almost done. Moving on target location. Want to be careful not to trigger anything else. Shot wide. Yeah, and Roby's just going to Overwatch. Just don't run in. Just don't run. Right. Okay, but you did not run. You hopefully did not run into. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's not a good sign. Good, Soul Sealer, immunity to melee, can summon and ignores Overwatch. Well, that was a really unfortunate turn of events. Panics, holds another pack. There was some good XCOM bullshit here on the final mission. But you gotta take it with a grain of uh, humor. Okay, we can definitely Icarus jump if needed. Good, moving forward with the commander who's supposed to tank all of that. Um... Good, we can mind control either one of uh, these guys. Now, the question that I'm asking myself is, should we just play it safe? This here is a dangerous field. We'll cover high, high ground seems reasonably safe. Let's try to get the gatekeeper. It's a good start. Good, 
Good, we're going up here. Out of out of sight. Also out of sight here. Want to be careful. Luckily, uh, we can traverse heights without problem. So that's another overwatch. Taking up uh, the mind control. Overwatch here. And these guys hopefully will start killing one another. Did he just unload the weapon of the Chosen? <laughs> that would be so funny. Look, I think staying in low on low ground here is actually plenty helpful. It's triggering Overwatch, by the way. Let's dance. Opening the shell. We'll come to that in a second. Can't fully reach the full cover position there. Yeah, that's the right call. We need to end the codex first. One shot, one kill. Great. Moving over. Moving. Sona moves over. We're just staying out of line of sight mainly. Of course, with the exception of the commander. Who very much stays within line of sight. A little bit of damage. Good job. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Big fat Overwatch uh, from all directions. And... That should yield just a tiny bit more damage. Good, the Psionic Bomb will deal four more damage. Seven, actually. Come on, hit. Alright, both of them seem to hate one another. That's good. Here, catch. How many lives rest on your conscience, Commander? How many people have died? 
Good, Roby reloads. And let's get that gatekeeper down. Cool. Even has a free action here trigger. Moves over here, destroys cover. And very much nicely hits that guy. Good, we're moving closer. Mana's fully moving in. We got some more rounds on the gatekeeper, so we're good. Reloading. Although the Chosen is immune to Overwatch, his goons are not immune to Overwatch, which is exactly why we're currently Overwatching. Come on. Just hold still. Okay, he's trying to kill shot us. Moving up, so this here is our living Mimic Beacon, essentially. Damn it, did he really just dodge that? This is too valuable to not use the rift right here. Might as well use it on our own um, on our own gatekeeper as well, because very soon it's no longer our gatekeeper. I'm hoping for an insta kill. Yeah, trigger, come on. Nice, nice hit. Very nice hit. Fully get him. I'm willing to use another advanced teamwork just so that we can malm him down. Down to almost nothing. Come on, execute. He would have been almost down if we would have shredded his armor, but as you know, we wanted to keep those cooldowns for us. I want to use another, another teamwork. Risk versus reward. He can shoot us anyways, but we're in full cover. But then again, that really doesn't matter with him. He either hits and then he hits really well, or he does not hit at all. Come on, execute. Let's 
that's okay. We can regenerate. I think all of them will die next turn. I see there's a bit of a problem. It starts becoming more of a problem. Oh boy. Oh boy. A trick of This might sting a little. We've got a soldier down. Get to him before the chosen do. I almost feel bad for him. They've got no idea what they're in for. Uh. Good moving up. I can respect the attempt at recovering your people, Commander. Even if it does cost you. Getting really close and personal. Yeah, trigger, come on. And finally, after what feels like an eternity, we got him down. Got rid of our gatekeeper. And this might be the entrance to the last room. There we go, guys. There we go. If this isn't uh, a spectacle and a really, really nice Waterworld mission, I don't know what is. We're going to uh, take a break here and we'll do the final room, of course, in a different episode. I would like to get your view on, is it possible to pull this off? Have I been good enough in managing all of the cooldowns? To remind ourselves, we have one action movement on both of our teams left over. We got two double shots left over. We got both of the explosives left over. And I think we still got both of our mimic beacons left over. So, and we took some damage on, uh, on Roby overall. So. The question now is, is it enough? Is it good enough to actually beat the last uh, room? This is going to be very, very painful. We got a little bit more um, damage potential than we had in our solo run. But at the same time, we are not really withstanding any of uh, the attacks very well. The moment that we're getting under fire, boy, oh boy, this is going to turn sour immediately. So let me know what you think. Uh, and please, by all means, comment. Would you have thought that we actually reached the last room within Waterworld? Or was your original tip that we would crash and burn much, much earlier? I'm incredibly stoked to go into that last mission. And listen, no matter how that turns out, this uh, episode or this run is already a success because it exceeded at least my expectations of what was possible with rookies. Thanks for watching, guys. Truly appreciate the support. See you in two days. Bye-bye.